Welcome to this tutorial on how to access your Proxmox VM using Parsec. We will guide you through the configuration process step by step. From your computer, access your VM using, for example, Microsoft Remote Desktop. Please note that a GPU pass-through configuration is a prerequisite. When accessing your VM, use your preferred web browser to access the Parsec website to download the application. The download link is in the description. When the download is completed, which should not take long, you will be able to execute the installation from your download folder. You can select the option to install the virtual display driver and click Next. You can choose to install it for either per user or shared it is your preference. When the installation process is completed, Parsec will start automatically. Enter your credentials, including your username and password, to access your Parsec account. During the login process, you may encounter an error message prompting you to verify for double-factor authentication. You will need to approve access from an email that will be sent to you by Parsec. Once you've approved access via email, you will be able to start the configuration. To enable access to this VM, you need to click on the settings icon from the left menu. Select the host option and validate that the hosting option is enabled. You can also give it a specific name, I will leave it as it is. Additionally, verify all other options to ensure that they are optimized for your system. Now, return to the settings menu and select client. Ensure that the decoder option is set to your GPU brand for optimization. Depending on your system, you may need to conduct some testing for renderer optimization and also test if your system will be optimized using H.265. This completes the application installation on your VM. Please ensure that Parsec remains running on your VM to maintain accessibility. From another computer with Parsec installed, you will see your VM appear in the list of accessible computers. By clicking on the connect button below your VM, you will be able to access it and resume from where you left off. Accessing your VM demonstrates that everything is configured properly. However, you can perform an additional verification by opening the device manager and ensuring that your Parsec virtual display adapter is active. The configuration process is now complete.